I'm gonna show you an incredibly valuable local ranking strategy that can get you rankings like this, ranking in a wide radius in your city for your most valuable keyword. And this is a strategy that almost no one else is doing. So I came across this Google business profile that's ranking for a super valuable term for dentists, Invisalign. But when you take a look at their Google business profile, you'll think, why is this business ranking? They have no reviews. Their primary category is dental clinic. They're ranking for Invisalign, which is more of an orthodontics type keyword. Their Google business profile is completely unoptimized. They have only one photo on the listing, just a photo of their logo. The Q&A section is empty. If you look at their additional categories, they don't have any additional categories. They just have the primary category, dental clinic. There's no services, there's no products, there's no Google posts. This is actually a masterclass on what not to do if you want your Google business profile to rank well. And then normally I might think, okay, well, it's proximity. So if you, if you look on the map here, you can see that's my blue dot and they're ranking pretty close to me. They're only 2.2 kilometers away. So that might explain my rankings, but if you take a look at this on a grid rank, you can see that they actually rank really well in a very wide radius. So I don't know, maybe they've got a ton of really powerful links pointing at their website. Nope, they've only got 14 different websites linking to them. So what gives? Why are they ranking so well for such an incredibly valuable term? Well, with zero optimization of their Google business profile and basically no links, we're gonna have to take a look at their website to see if we can figure out this mystery. We can see, you know, here's their navigation. They've got, oh, standard amount of pages. Looks like a standard dentist website here. Invisalign, a clear smile, very first uh, H1 tag, virtually invisible way to straighten your teeth. Uh, Invisalign is more affordable, here's pricing. Uh, Invisalign dentists in Edmonton. So you can see they're, they're pretty well optimized for Invisalign, the home pages, anyways. Um, what else we got here? What is Invisalign? I got a page about that. I got, you know, uh, here's a list of your appointments. Uh, they got this sub menu over here, you know, digital scanning. The thing that I'm really noticing is that the word Invisalign is appearing pretty much all over the place. And I actually ran it through Screaming Frog as well. And we can see that in their title tags, we've got Invisalign. That's it saying Invisalign in most of the title tags. Same thing with their primary heading tags. Lots of stuff about Invisalign. And so I think that the key thing that you need to notice about this website is that the whole website is focused on one specific topic, Invisalign. And perhaps more importantly, the website's not about anything else. It's strictly focused on this one topic. Back in 2020, yeah. Phil Rosick, one of the smartest OGs of local SEO, suggested to me that I should add a new factor to the local search ranking factor survey. Websites degree of focus on a specific niche. And Clear Smile Dental is a perfect example of this factor in action. Google loves to rank specialists. There are some businesses that try to do everything, but then they end up doing nothing very well. And then there are some businesses that focus on one thing and they do it very well. I think that Google gives preferential treatment to these types of hyper-focused businesses, and honestly, it makes sense. I'm asking Google for a business that offers Invisalign, and Google is like, well, hey, you should check out Clear Smile Dental, because that's all they do. They're specialized in Invisalign. Okay, so you've seen the strategy in action. Now, how can you do this for your own business? And the order of operations here is super important. The main thing is that you don't wanna create your Google business profile until you've done all of the previous steps. And just so you know, this strategy is not a quick win. You're gonna have to invest some money and you're gonna have to do some work. I mean, we're talking about establishing a whole new business and building a whole new website, but the payoff is potentially enormous. If you invest in this now, it'll continue to pay dividends year after year. All right, step one, decide on a business name. I mean, Clear Smile Dental really missed an opportunity to get the word Invisalign in their business name. Keywords in the Google Business Profile business name is the number two local search ranking factor. It has a huge impact on rankings. So if you're starting from scratch with a brand new business, you might as well try to get some keywords in the business name. If I was coming up with a name for Clear Smile Dental, I would have gone with something like Invisalign Specialists of Edmonton. All right, step two, get an address. You can use the same address as your primary business, but it'll be important to designate this as a distinct department within your business. Ideally, you'll have a separate entrance and signage for this department, 
because Google will likely ask to see it during the verification process. You can kind of think of this like a, a service department within an auto dealership. The safest and cleanest approach though is to get an actual new address and a new office location. And you can't use a virtual office, you need a real office and you need to have clearly marked signage. And to be within Google's guidelines, you actually have to have the office staffed during your opening hours. All right, step three, get yourself a phone number. I highly recommend getting a distinct phone number from your main location's phone number. You may need to use this number to verify your Google business profile. So make sure you can receive calls directly to this number without forwarding. You can use a service like Dialpad to get a phone number for $59 a month. And after you've verified your Google business profile, then you can set it to forward to any number you want. Step four, register a domain name. It can help a little bit to have keywords in the domain name. So I would try to pick a name that roughly matches with the name you selected in step one. For example, if my business name is Invisalign Specialists of Edmonton, I might look for a domain name like InvisalignSpecialist.com or Invisalign-Specialist.com, something like that, but not too long. Step five, register the business with your government registry. This step is optional, but Google might ask to see your business registration information when they go to verify your business, and they can also look it up online. It's really not too much trouble to go down to your local registry office or do it online, and this will provide some indisputable evidence if Google's ever questioning the validity of your business. Step six, you're gonna need a logo. So you can just use a AI logo generating tool like this one here. I think it costs $59 and they'll give you a whole bunch of options. Step seven, you're gonna build the website. You could use a website builder like Wix or you could hire a WordPress developer. They usually cost around a thousand to two thousand dollars. But the key thing that you need to do to implement the strategy is make sure that the website is hyper focused on your one specific primary key phrase that you're trying to rank it for. You can use the uh, Clear Smile Dental website as your guiding compass. And of course, do all the standard website optimization stuff like getting the keywords in the title tags, keywords in the headings and keywords throughout uh, your body copy. And here's a tip. This is a really good AI content writer called Byword. So you could use a tool like this to generate your first draft of the copy, but it's super important that if you're gonna use AI to do your, your copy, you must then edit it in every paragraph, add your own personal touch, what it makes your business unique, what is your approach, you know, use it only as your starting point to inspire the content and then add your own personality and your own thoughts and expertise to that content. Step eight, create an info at your domain name.com email address. This is because when you go to verify your new Google business profile, sometimes they'll give you email verification option and the email that they always default to is info at. So it's good to have this email set up in advance and then make sure you can actually receive the email at it so you can verify your Google business profile. Step nine, set up Google search console and Google analytics and make sure that they're linked to your website. This can help the Google business profile verification process go smoother. Step 10, build up some citations. Before you create your Google business profile, you wanna show Google that this is a real business that they can find evidence of out on the web. So they're gonna be expect to see your business listed on Yellow Pages and maybe Yelp and some of the prominent directories in your space. Make sure you've already built those out before you create your Google business profile and you're coming in with an extra layer of trust right out of the gates. You can go and add your business to all these business directory yourself or Whitespark has a great service that can do all this work for you. Step 11, gather photos and videos for your Google business profile. After you build citations, you should give it about a month for Google to uh, find and index those citations. And during this period would be a great time for you to start gathering your photo and video evidence that this is a real business. So you're gonna want to put up a sign and then take a photo of it. If your location's in an office tower with multiple businesses, then take a photo of the business directory in the lobby. Take a photo of the exterior of the building from across the street, uh, ideally with your signage on the building. Take some photos of the interior of your location, the office, the, the desk with the sign on it. Take photos of your staff or yourself, ideally wearing t-shirts or, or shirts or hats that have the company logo on them. If your business has some vehicles, then get some decals made and put those on the side of the trucks. And finally, create a video walkthrough where you're coming out from the street and going into the business. You're showing the signage, you're showing your friendly staff working at the desk, ideally wearing the t-shirts the with your logo on it. 
just give them a feel that this is a business that anyone can come into. So this seems like a lot of work, I know. Why should you go to all this trouble? Well, all of this evidence will really help mitigate any potential risk of suspension when you go to verify your business. It's very likely that Google will ask for photo and video evidence to verify that this is a real business in the real world. Step 12, create and verify your Google business profile. If you've waited a month for your citations to simmer and you have all your photo and video evidence, you're finally ready to go and create a new Google business profile. Make sure you're logged into the same account that you have your primary uh, location registered under. This account has already built up some trust with Google, so it's a good account to use to create your new listing. Then go to business.google.com slash create and search for your business. It's possible because you built all those citations that Google may have already picked up your new business and created a Google business profile for you already and you just need to claim it. Select the primary category that most closely matches the keyword that you want this business to rank for. Then go through the rest of the form, adding any other details about your business. And then finally, you should be presented with the verification options. Hopefully you're gonna get phone or email verification. Those are the uh, simplest ones to get through. You need to know that this is just phase one verification though. Your new Google business profile is very likely to get hit with phase two verification and Google almost always is asking for video verification these days. If this happens to you, I highly recommend this article from Sherry Benelli. She details everything you need to know about how to get through the video verification process. All right, step 13, wait two weeks. Once your profile is past phase two verification, I highly recommend not touching it for two weeks. Google has implemented a two week sandbox period where any minor changes you make to your Google business profile can trigger a suspension and the re-verification process. That's super annoying. So just leave your listing alone for two weeks. Don't touch it. After those two weeks are up, you can then go in and add uh, more photos, add additional categories, add services, see the Q&A section, add products, add Google Post, you know, build out the Google business profile so it looks great and is well optimized. Now I know this strategy is a significant investment of both time and money to get set up. But for the right business and the right keywords, getting rankings like this means that the strategy will pay for itself hundreds of times over, over the course of the next year, two years, five years and beyond. Invisalign for dentist is a great example of a keyword that you'd use the strategy on. Another one might be car accident attorney for a personal injury lawyer, or maybe Botox for a cosmetic surgeon, or maybe even new furnace installation for an HVAC company. You're really only gonna do this for the number one keyword, the keyword that drives the most revenue for your business. I mentioned earlier how powerful keywords in the business name are, and I have a whole video on that that you're gonna wanna watch next. 